Just in case if you've just joined us, we've had a great uh, first ascent of the first stage, as well as a stage separation of first stage and second stage. Second stage, as you can see there on your screen, we had a great MBAC ignition, and second stage is now carrying JCSAT-14 uh, out to uh, geosynchronous transfer orbit. We're now waiting on, like John said, the first stage to come back and make an attempt on to landing on Of Course I Still Love You. And uh, we just completed that landing burn, and we're going to be waiting. The re burn. Excuse me, the re-entry re burn. burn. Thank yes. you. <laughs> and we're waiting for the landing burn, which I'm sure you'll hear the crowd around us uh, start cheering whenever we have visual confirmation of that. Uh, what makes this mission so difficult in particular, uh, the geosynchronous transfer orbit missions, is that the re -entry, even after that re-entry burn, we're still moving twice as fast uh, as we would for a typical low Earth orbit mission. We're entering the atmosphere at about two kilometers per second for this mission instead of a, a more typical one kilometer per second uh, for a low Earth orbit. Right, and that landing burn is going to come up in about another 20 seconds or so. And keep in mind that those are going twice as fast. The velocity is the square, energy is the square of velocity, so four times as much energy is being imparted on that stage, and eight times as much heating, which is why we said before this is going to be a very difficult mission for us, and we are not expecting. Uh, a successful attempt at this time around. So we are but we are learning, we're always hoping. <laughs> and you're hearing everyone cheer right now because we're coming into the drone ship. We will show you what we can right there, and that's a view from our drone ship in the middle of the And it looks like we have. That vehicle is going to coast for a bit before we do a second ignition. 